Ah, backpacking food. Prepackaged high calorie fuel brought to life by boiled water from a lightweight pot. Sure, it tastes great out on trail after a long day of hiking, but let's be honest, it ain't nothing like the food at home. Here we are again, Tyler and I as a part of the OV team doing 100 miles on the Appalachian Trail, testing out our newly designed performance-based gear, pushing our bodies to the limits, and giving ourselves time in nature, where all of our best ideas come from. Speaking of ideas, here's a new one. Using a freeze dryer to bring my all-time favorite food onto the trail in a way that's ultra light and just as tasty as when I have it at my house. Will it work? I sure hope so, but we're both gonna find out together. And in case you have a different favorite food you'd wanna bring on trail, I hope that this will inspire you to experiment with your backpacking food. This is my favorite food, Zuppa Toscana, an Italian Tuscan soup that my wife is professional at making. The creamy soup has a hearty yet spicy taste with sausage, spinach, and potatoes that is extremely delicious and very satisfying. A few days before our backpacking trip, I took my favorite food and resisting temptation the best that I could, I put it in Ovi's Harvest Right freeze dryer, which we have an affiliate link to. If you're interested in the same freeze dryer, check the description below. How am I gonna get that into the bags? This is where it'll get interesting here, you know? idea what the calories are going to be in this, you know. So going off their weight will give me at least some idea like, alright, it's probably in this general range of calories. I think I'm just going to get as much of it possibly can in the bag because I'm basically there. So I start compacting. Five, three? Yep. Good enough for me. Sweet. One is done. All right, we're about to try this uh, meal that I put together myself in our Harvest Stripe freeze dryer. Give it a shot and see how it does. We're out here on the AT. It's been a long 24 miles today, and I'm hoping that we get this right. I'm gonna start it off with a cup of water, and if I need to add a little bit more, I will have to do so. So, we're trying, since this is brand new, I'll have to kind of dial in and see exactly um, how much water to add, but. Start off with the cup, try to keep it as warm as I can while it's rehydrating and see how close we get. A few moments later. There's a tall bag. All right, so the one cup looked like it was about right. It is soup, so I'm sure I could make it way more soupy, but I'm gonna try it uh, more thick, so. That's so good. Yep, that's definitely, definitely worked out well. I, this will be something off to make again. Holy cow. Dude, that is seriously so good. That is like the best, uh, I think it's the best meal I've had since I first tried a peak tree fuel. I hope this inspires you to experiment with your backpacking food. I don't think it will completely replace backpacking meals for me, but the freeze dryer is a great way to save money in the long run if you go out on trail often enough, or like me, 
want to bring your specific favorite food out on trail. If you want to experience the Appalachian Trail trip with us, click the link because it's a video you don't want to miss. And for more on the subject of freeze drying, be sure to check out this video where we tried to freeze dry America's most popular foods. Leave a comment down below of your favorite food and we'll see you guys out on the trail.